Okay, well, thank you very much for everybody that uh, came today. Um, today, we're going to be going over a presentation of a decal ceremony for the Dementia Care and Cure Initiative uh, that the Cape Coral Police Department uh, officers have gone through. Every officer in the department has received this training. So first, I'd like to uh, go ahead and recognize some dignitaries that we have with us. We have Council Member Gunter with us today and Council Member uh, Nelson with us also today. So first, we'd like to uh, introduce um, Mary with uh, uh, that helped do our actual training to go over some of the um, actual training that the officers received uh, and then uh, we'll go from there and uh, explain uh, through the actual Department of Elder Affairs also with uh, Laurel Copeland uh, will come up and speak and then lastly of course Chief Newland. Hello everyone. Uh, my name is Mary Fryer. I am part of the Dementia Care and Cure Initiative. Um, I'm very, very proud to be a part of a, a task force here in Fort Myers area in the Lee County area. Um, you can see these wonderful folks behind me are all of our partners um, in serving our community uh, organizations. We want to provide education for um, organizations such as the police department, the fire departments, um, restaurants, churches, anybody that's interested in learning how to help those folks, those caregivers caring for somebody who has memory impairment um, and to make um, things a little more comfortable for them. We're very, very proud of the Cape Coral um, Police Department for stepping up and being a part of this initiative and we want to thank them and this is what this is for. So thank you. <laughs> I would like to welcome everybody here today on behalf of our Lee County Task Force. Uh, the Department of Elder Affairs um, in 2015 started this initiative, the Dementia Care and Cure Initiative. In 2016, Lee County was selected as the second county in the state to participate. Um, it is a group of community partners that are coming together to make Lee County dementia friendly. I'd like to thank these community partners. Um, I represent Lee Health. I'm on their board of directors and our Lee Health Memory Clinic, the Alzheimer's Association, PS8 CARES team from the Department of Elder Affairs, Area on Aging, Lee County Sheriff's Department, Hope Healthcare, the City of Fort Myers, FGCU, Home Instead Senior Care, and Right at Home. We've all been touched by dementia and I know Chief Newland's going to speak to it. It is so vitally important to make Lee County a supportive county that supports people with dementia. We all have neighbors that need help. We want to make Lee County a place where if you have someone with dementia and you want to go to a restaurant, you can go to the DCCI website and say, this restaurant, this bank, this retail store is trained in dementia caring initiatives so that we can support families and make Lee County even a greater place to live. Having said that, I would now like to introduce Laura Copeland, the program coordinator for DCCI, to give you some further details. Good morning. I'm Laura Copeland with the Department of Elder Affairs, uh, located up in Tallahassee. And as Therese said, this initiative was started in 2015. Um, we wanted to be leaders across the nation in the increasing incidence of Alzheimer's and dementia in Florida. At t this time, there are about 560,000 individuals living with Alzheimer's in the state of Florida. Um, and the mission of the Dementia Care and Cure Initiative is to engage communities across the state to be more dementia caring, promote better care for Floridians affected by dementia, and support research efforts to find a cure. Our vision for this program is to see all, Floridian, all Florida communities engaged in providing better care for those affected by dementia while we work towards a cure. And our goals are to increase awareness of dementia and of services and supports for those with dementia and their care partners, to provide assistance to dementia caring communities across the state, and to continue advocacy um, for care and cure programs. As Trez mentioned, we do, and uh, Mary, we want entities in the community to become trained in this. The training is free. Um, if you are interested in that, you can reach me at dcci at elderaffairs.org and we will work to set up that free training on behalf of your community entity or agency. And on behalf of the Department of Elder Affairs, we would like to extend our sincere gratitude to the Fort Myers Lee County Task Force. Um, they're doing incredible work in the Lee County area. So huge thank you to Mary Fryer and Nancy um, with Nancy Roberts with Lee Health um, for 
facilitating the trainings here at the Cape Coral Police Department. And lastly, a big thank you to the Cape Coral Police Department for being coming the first dementia caring law enforcement agency in Lee County. They took part in a series of these free dementia sensitivity trainings, and together we are making a very positive impact in the lives of those affected by dementia. So thank you all. Now, of course, I'd like to bring up Chief Nolan, Chief of Police, Cape Coral Police Department. Uh, good morning. Good morning, everybody. First, I want to thank all our dignitaries who have been here today, uh, everybody behind me as well that's here today to uh, talk about um, memory disorder. And uh, I want to thank also our training unit as well that uh, helped put the training together to get all of our staff trained on dementia, again, memory disorder. And I, I can say that I think most of us either have a personal experience, either a family member or probably someone we know of that deals with this. Uh, I can tell you that um, my grandfather had Alzheimer's and he dealt with this for over 20 years. And, uh, you know, uh, I was very close to my grandfather. I remember um, great, great shape. Um, he was always in good condition, but Alzheimer's affected him. And, and again, um, watching how that changed the person for over 20 years, um, I, I, I'll never forget that. And again, I think everybody has dealt with this or knows somebody that has dealt with this problem or is currently dealing with this problem. And I think it's important that um, the education and awareness um, of our officers now being trained to know how to deal with this to somebody in the public um, that may have dementia or other type of memory disorder, how this can be handled. Again, being aware is, is, is the main issue here and how can we treat this. So I want to thank everybody here today um, for helping us bring this to this point, uh, getting our staff trained and your support. So thank you. You know, Mary, if you'd like to do the presentation okay. with the chief, and then we'll move outside after that. Okay. Let's get that. <clears throat> Let's see, we can move this way. <laughs> okay. Chief, on the behalf of the Dementia Care Care Initiative, we want to thank you so much for letting us train your officers and being a part of this uh, wonderful task force. We are so proud. We trained over 200 of your officers, so thank you so much. Thank sir. you. So much thank for you. working with thank you. And now we can uh, go outside and we can see we actually have this on our front window of our, of our police department and on uh, one of our police cars, which will go on all of them, as you can see here with the decals we've been presented today. So thank you. Thank you. Thank you.